I am curious about the sketch on the screen, Sergeant, because the grainy picture doesn't show the face, but there were witnesses, if I'm not mistaken, who were able to lend information that got you to the sketch. Can you tell me a little bit about the witnesses? What, where did they come from? What did they see? Um, I, I don't want to go into great detail, but uh, they were near or on the trail. Uh, we have several sketches, but we've identified some of the people that they sketched. One of them was Mike uh, after, I, I know that, but um, after there was, there's plenty of people out there, numerous people out there afterwards helping with the search, and we got a lot of sketches of those people as well, uh, including Mike, I think, maybe not, but uh, it, uh, but this sketch is, is, a, is several months. Uh, it, it didn't just happen in one day. Uh, sir. Um, again, it takes a lot of time. I'm not a sketch artist, um, but the FBI actually, an agent from the FBI did this sketch. And, uh, you know, I think when somebody sketches, it takes like 10 minutes. It takes several weeks. Um, but to get the information, to find the people that, that we believe saw that person that day near the time of the murders, that, that takes months. So we, we, we had to locate these people, uh, interview them, find out who they really saw. Did they really see the guy on the bridge from the video? Or did they see Mike out there helping search? Or did they see somebody else out there helping with the search? So we had to identify those people. And once we felt like we identified the people that uh, actually saw the guy on the bridge, then the sketch itself took, again, several weeks. They sketched it, looked at it. No, that's not correct. And I will, I will say that she still, they, there's a couple people, still aren't convinced that that's the proper hat, but that, that's the hat that the sketch artist could come up with as close to what uh, the witnesses were, were describing. Um, where there's four or five of us up here right now, and if we pick somebody out of the room right now and identify them to a sketch artist, there would be five different sketches that have the similar features as we believe this the sketch has of, of the guy on the bridge, uh, but they'd be a little different. So I think that's what he meant is the, the person that, that, that did this heinous crime may not exactly look like that sketch. That's what the person's... Uh, information and then the sketch artist had to take that information in and then put it on paper so it's not always going to be perfect but we think that's that's a really good sketch and we think it's really close to the person that we're looking for that's on the bridge you know the notion that when something like this happens just like holding something back that only the killer would know is crime fighting 101 also looking at the families first is crime fighting 101. And I've had my fair share of shots taken at us. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So people jump to conclusions. I mean, let's face it, this guy, this sketch, uh, I have, resem you know, features that resemble that. Most, most Midwestern guys, you know, with my build and stature <laughs> can look like that. Yeah. All right. It's not me. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> you know, and Doug would not travel around the United States with us. You know, they've checked me. I was at work. I have to badge in twice. I'm on camera. I mean, it's a, but, but people won't, they won't take that. They, that, that's, that's not, doesn't fit their agenda when they're out there. It's easy to hide behind a keyboard and take shots and say, it's, it's Mike Patty. He's the worst guy ever. You know, I've been called everything. Trust me. There's been, I mean, it breaks my wife and, and my family down to tears. And I tell them, guys, I'm not going to let that bother me. I will not. Let me, let me ask you, um, Becky, a little bit about the relationship that you have with the police. And like you just said, you know, the sergeant wouldn't be out traveling with you all over the country to, to do these presentations if you didn't have a good relationship and if he didn't believe in you. But again, at the beginning, that's a really tough relationship to establish because they're the ones looking at you first. And you need them to find the killer. And they need you to figure out if you're not part of it. So how do you get beyond that extraordinary, awkward, and painful first dynamic? I don't know that it really was with us because as soon as this happened, we went to them and said, check us out. We knew that we would be the first ones that they looked at. What do you need from us? What information? We will do whatever. Check us out. Check us two or three times so that you know it's not us. I mean, we offered to do anything they wanted, day one. And um, they, uh, they were very polite 
and respectful in everything that they did. So um, I, I'm, I'm here to tell you, if it was, I don't care if it was one of my family and I thought I knew who it was, I'd, I'd have turned them in. You know, so it, we just wanted to get, we wanted to get through that because we knew it wasn't us. So that, okay, now get down to business. Now let's get down to business. Let's get down to together. business and really find him. And, and I know other citizens have brought us articles that they found and we've collected those and put those into evidence and done whatever we could with those item, items that, that were located. So to answer your question, I think, yeah, we, we're, we have been out there several times since February 13, 2017, and we will continue to go out there. There's people that go out there just because they feel like they get clo closer to the crime and they feel like they need to go out there uh, to, to help with them, motivating them to, to do the investigation. But, yeah, we... we uh, I don't necessarily encourage them to go out there without permission because it is private property. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we overstep our welcome or our boundaries there. So, but if you, you know, if you did it the right way and somebody finds something and they do it the right way and they get, they contact police right away so we can collect it properly, then I would say, yeah, well, it could be beneficial. Um, just a